Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make adult coloring and diamond painting videos here on this channel. And today I have an unboxing video of a brand new Diamond Art Club kit. This is Luna Moth Witch by Rita Kanya. This is, if you guys watched my last video, the fall Halloween diamond painting that I randomly chose to work on for this season. Um, if you guys want to see that video and kind of my process of how I randomly chose, definitely go check out my last video. It will be linked down below. But today I will be unboxing this beautiful kit for you guys and hopefully this goes a little bit smoother than last time. I'm honestly not too certain that it will just because this is a bigger canvas and I know for a fact that I'm not gonna have any idea how to do this properly but yeah this is Luna Moth Witch. Absolutely stunning 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 and I am just gonna go ahead and unbox this for you guys um this is a square diamond painting kit and is a 22 by 30 inch or a 55.8 by 76 centimeter and I already took the factory seal like plastic off because last time if you guys saw my last video of me unboxing a kit that was kind of a fail but yeah I guess let's just get right on into the unboxing okay so i'm gonna start out again by going ahead and just opening up the box this is a lot harder this time around because um it's a bigger box and i don't know exactly know what to do but we're gonna make it work we're gonna make it work so we have of course the canvas and also i do just quickly want to add quick that um this kit is actually discontinued from diamond art club which i'm honestly really disappointed about i think it's an absolute stunning piece and i'm disappointed that they discontinued it so quickly um it kind of just goes to show with diamond art club specifically from what i've noticed dreamer designs doesn't really do this that if you like a kit you need to get it right away otherwise you just never know if it's going to come back so there's my little disclaimer on that but then we have the cute little sticker here. This goes directly into my logbook. And I actually also do put the big sticker in my logbook as well. But, um, okay, that's it for the actual box, which is a good thing. I'm just going to move this back. But then we just have the toolkit, which I'm always, I always love looking at the toolkit. I love seeing what comes in um, my kits because this toolkit, and here are the uh, contents. It comes with an applicator, a comfort grip, um, heart wax, a tray, a tray stopper, multi-placers, and then it comes with a cover minder, washi tape, Ziploc baggies, and tweezers since it's a square canvas. So anyways, let's dig right into the tool kit. I always love knowing what um, cover minder I'm going to get because, I don't know, I don't even use cover minders. I stick them. I used to have them on my fridge, you guys, but now I actually have them on my little art tray. Not my art tray, art cart, and it works out so well, but anyways let's go ahead and dig right on into the stuff in here here we go awesome i don't think anything's missing i think we're good okay so like i said we have a bag of baggies um a lot of people use this to either kit up in or just use as extra storage so we have that um and then we have let's see we have let's go here <laughs> We have a pen and a matching little comfort grip squishy thing. These are both pink, super cute. And then, let's see, I'll actually put those over there so you guys can still see them. Um, and then, I'm saving the best parts for last, you get a uh, tray. This is a white tray. I personally really do like these. I use them all the time with my paintings. And then a tray stopper, which just goes at the end here of your... Um, of your tray and it stopped drills from like falling out honestly i throw that away personally not my favorite thing but you know <laughs> and then we just have a couple of multi placers that you can actually put on the other end of your pen a four placer and a seven placer i love the four placer my favorite is the four placer i actually if you guys have these like big diamond art club pens you can actually just remove like the tip it came with and this tip you can remove both of them and plop in new ones just an fyi and then it comes with the wax and this is just in a heart shape and it comes with two one in there one in here two plates of wax um to load up your pen and you can diamond paint with lately i have not been using the pink wax but it is always nice that it comes with it and then like i said in square um shaped diamond painting kits not in the round for diamond art club they come with a pair of tweezers which are really nice and just be really really careful these are 
insanely sharp tweezers. Let's see if it'll uh, focus. Super sharp tweezers will, you can kill a bitch with these tweezers basically. Uh, so we have the tweezers and then we have the two most exciting parts. We have washi tape. This, um, this and the cover minder varies in print. So it looks like on this one, we just have this really pretty blue and white striped kind of chevron, I'm going to say pattern. Really, really pretty. So we have that for the washi tape. And then for the cover minder, it looks like we have a little half a macaron. I think that's what they're called. Are they called macarons or are they macaroons? Hmm. I don't actually know, but it's only half of one. Um, and cover minders, if you guys don't know what these are, these are basically little um, magnetic tools, I guess you can call them, to hold back the plastic sheet on your diamond painting canvas and it has a magnet on one end well it has magnets on both ends but you can take off one magnet and then you put this underneath the canvas this on top of the canvas and it magnetizes and it holds back your plastic cover i personally use um release papers so i don't really use the cover minders but that is still a very fun treat to get and i like putting it on my um, little art cart because it's just kind of cute. It just shows the progression of all of the cover binders I have and if I ever decide to change my methods in the future I'll have cover binders. Uh, but yeah, that is it for all of the um, tools in the kit So hang on one second and then we can move on into the canvas I'm gonna be so honest this video already feels so much more organized than my last video was when I unboxed my first kit So I think these are just gonna get better and better as they go along But um now we have the canvas so every single canvas comes in one of these like dust cover bags and it says diamond art club do what makes you sparkle and we're just gonna go ahead and open up the canvas here I'm really excited to work on another square drill canvas from diamond art club um, I haven't done one of their newer diamond art club kits in squares since I did big sis um, so I'm really excited all oh, the backing is so soft yeah okay I'm just gonna throw that on the ground okay so let's go ahead and roll this. I'm gonna move my drink out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and roll this out. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, this is gonna be really challenging to see, but here is what we're gonna do. Uh, let's see. Quickly, before I get into the canvas, just look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh. Um, first of all, the canvas comes with a little, um, kind of thank you for your purchase. This is how you diamond paint kind of thing. Um, let's see, there are some discount codes in here. Wink, wink, feel free to use, feel free to use. Um, but yeah, lots of discount codes. Don't pay full price for a Diamond Art Club kit. Don't do it. Trust me, you don't want to do that. <laughs> they always have discounts. You don't want to pay full price, but we have the little thank you note. Um, we have the bag of drills and actually one thing I did not point out in my last video is that each um, bag of drills has a little sticker with the name of the canvas on it and it tells you which canvas it is. So if you store your drills away from your canvas, then you don't have to worry about knowing which one's going with which kit. So we have the drills that we'll go over in a minute. And then, excuse me, we also have the little sheet of all of the stickers, pre-cut stickers, to help kidding up go a little bit easier, as well as the big sticker sheet with a nice big artwork on it. So, always really nifty to have. This piece has 40 colors in it, and anything under the number 150 is an AB drill, so there's only one of these in this, um, in this kit, but there are two fairy dust drills, and those will happen at the end of the key, and I guess fairy dust start with a Z, so yeah um okay so let's see i'm gonna go ahead and i'm actually gonna help this canvas lay a little bit flatter because if you guys can see it's a little bit curled i'm gonna go ahead and flip this canvas over and roll it back the opposite direction you can totally do this with diamond art club canvases you can do it with dreamer designs canvases basically you can do this method with any canvas that is uh, poured glue. Do not do it with double-sided adhesive, um, that will mess with the glue. However, doing it with um, poured glue will not harm the canvas or the glue or anything like that. Okay, this is definitely still gonna have to sit out and flatten a little bit, um, but you guys, can we just take a minute? Let me actually go ahead and lift this way up and show you guys this beautiful canvas. Um, so we'll kind of just start at the top here and I'll just work my way down. 
for you guys to see how absolutely stunning this canvas is. Oh my goodness. This is, <laughs> this is really gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these are really stunning. I'm so excited. What I'm going to go ahead and do is flip around the canvas and we're going to go ahead and take a look at the drills real quick. Okay guys, so we're going to go through the drills um, and let's see. Let's figure out the best way to do this. I feel like every time I do this, I don't entirely know the best way to do this. Um, okay, we have a really long strand of drills, so let's go through them. And I will point out any um, special drills, but we have three bags of 3860. Yeah, three bags. And then we actually have our first fairy dust drill, and it is Z369, which is this beautiful, beautiful mint green. And that was the reason that drew me toward this kit. Um, and there are three freaking bags of it, which I really love. So we have three bags of Z369. We have two bags of 938. And then we have our second fairy dust drill, and I don't think I mentioned this. Fairy dust drills have a glitter coating on the top of them, um, and they are really pretty. They're, they'll be my first time working with them in person, so I'm very excited. This is Z3865, which is a white color, and I'm very excited. Two, three bags of those. So many fairy dust drills in this kit, oh my goodness. And then we have two bags of 779. Oh my god, and then we get into the three tens. Oh my god. I think we're gonna have a lot of these. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, at least seven bags of 310, which is just the black, which I'm definitely not surprised by. Um, but also, you know, it's a lot of bags. Uh okay, moving right along. Ooh, you guys, this kid is gonna have so many mint greens. I'm so excited. But then we have 164, 225, 772, 778, 452, 966, which looks like we have two bags of 966, 993, uh, two bags of 898, uh, 453, two bags of 3024, we have one, two, three bags of 451, and then two bags of 3371, which is a really dark brown, and then we have 3861 and 3860. So we have that little um, strand of drills, and then we have one straggler bag. I don't know where that came from. One straggler bag of 3774. And then the last little strand of drills are a lot of smaller bags. Um, let's see, let's see. We have 3731, 3350, 3733, 3814, 718, 370, 3766, 150, uh, 3607, 597, 434, 648, 3823, 915, 100, which is our AB drill, and it looks like there are not going to be too many of these. Um, this has a nice sparkling coating on the top, and I'm very excited about it. I'm actually kind of excited that this only has one AB and has two fairy dust, and there's so many fairy dust drills that we got, so I feel like it's going to be everywhere. Um, but we'll look at the canvas in a minute. And then we have a 992, and we end off with 598. So this is a very pretty color palette. I'm just going to throw all of these back on here for a sec. Just look at the spread of colors. This is absolutely chaos, but we have the spread of colors here. And what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and show you guys um, the canvas again And we are gonna look for all of these special drills. Okay guys So this is gonna be a little bit challenging to kind of go through um, but I am gonna do my best So we're gonna start out by looking for all of the number ones and that is gonna be our a B the first and only a B um and just looking at the top here of the canvas to me It looks like there are some ones in the butterflies here and here um, Let's see Actually, none in that butterfly. Um, but let's see. Let's start moving down the canvas a little bit. Uh, some more in this little... These are not butterflies. I don't know why this entire time I'm calling them butterflies. They're moths. <laughs> so 
sorry. Yeah, so there's some in the some ones in this moth. Um, not in that one. Um, is that it? No, I see some more down here. Um, there are also some ones actually kind of interspersed throughout her hair a little bit. Not a ton, mostly right here. And then there are some more ones here. So mostly these um, green AB drills are going to be found, it, excuse me, in um, in the moths. So that's where the green AB is going to go. And then we are looking for the N symbol. And that is going to be the fairy dust. And you guys, okay, anywhere you guys really see this Ming green, that is basically where the fairy dust Ming green goes. Um, so we have it all in our hair. Let's see, going back down, we have it and a little bit in the moth, more in her hair, more in the moth. Yeah, this basically just goes in the moth in the hair, basically. Anywhere there's like a very mint green, that's where you're going to get it. Obviously, like the moths are pretty mint green in general, but yeah, that's where you're going to find those. And I'm so excited to work with those. And then last but not least, we have the um, little dot symbol that indicates the white fairy dust. And I don't know if you guys can see all of the little like white speckles and the little stars that are interspersed throughout the sky. All of those are white um, fairy dust drills. We have some white fairy dust in the moths as well. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. There are also a crap ton of fairy dust drills throughout the moon here, throughout all of these plants. We have a bunch of fairy dust. Okay, okay. Yeah, that is really where we're going to find majority, a little bit in her face, nothing crazy, but that is basically where we're going to find all of the special diamonds. And you guys, I guess, you know, honestly, I think that's it for this unboxing video. I am a lot more pleased with how this one went on than the last one. This canvas is a little bit bigger, though, so this was a little bit more of a challenge to film, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in picking up any Diamond Art Club canvases. Again, this one is discontinued, which is super disappointing, and I'm disappointed that you guys can't get your hands on it, um, but I am excited to work on this kit, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.